Good Saturday morning, everyone. You'll notice that uh, this morning is the best time of the day today as far as the weather is concerned. This is pre-dawn look at the clearing and cloud skies out there that are starting out. We're starting out on the warm side, though. 78 degrees of Bush Intercontinental. That's pretty warm. The record uh, <laughs> minimum low temperature, uh, maximum low temperature is 79. So thankfully, we're not going to get a record on that, but still pretty warm. 75 at Katy, 77 Hobby, 80 in Galveston. We got showers approaching already in the hill country, and throughout the afternoon, we're going to see rain mostly to the north, but we're going to have that rain around, and some of it's going to be heavy at times. Tonight, those scattered showers will stick around as well. In fact, all weekend long, we've got that. Here's exact track radar looking at the 530 to 550 time period here. Look at what's going on to the north. Brenham College Station, Bryan, all of that through Waco. You notice those lines, are still, they're kind of falling apart. They're not really holding together. But the fact that they're there just indicates the unsettled nature of the atmosphere. We don't have a big front that's pushing those through. So it's just kind of meandering down, if you will, in, in our direction. So we've got showers that can happen throughout the, uh, the, after, the morning, especially. And then the afternoon, we start to see a little bit more activity of that. This is all part of a line that's going all the way up through uh, Texas and in Missouri. Let's take a look at a future cast model here. One of them, this initializes pretty well at, at 530. Doesn't show the intensity, but it does show the rain there. We'll put this in motion. You notice a lot of it doesn't hit Houston proper until we get to the afternoon. So 12, 1 o'clock, we start to see even more. Brian College Station, you're in for a lot of rain, it looks like this morning and throughout, because this line just kind of sags right over you and then kind of will sag to the south. That's what's going to be going on for the next several days. In fact, you notice rain sticks around through six o'clock and then through the evening, a little bit of a break here. This is just an example of what we can expect in the overnight hours going into tomorrow morning. Showers all throughout the area when you wake up tomorrow morning as well, dissipating a little bit through the afternoon, but then we see them coming back going into Monday morning as well. This rain is going to be around for the next several days. A broader picture shows what's going on here. We've got this warm, humid flow. Look where it sags down to this to the east here. This is this afternoon. A lot heavier storms going on in the Mississippi, uh, Louisiana area, but we've got showers that will be sticking around as this front wants to try to sag to the south. It's really not going to go through at all. It's just going to stall. And so that's what's going to give us our rain chances for the next several days here, even Monday morning. Monday, Tuesday looks like the heaviest rain days, uh, but we will have rain for us as well today. Here's a satellite shot looking what's going on currently. Put the water vapor loop on upper levels. Lots of moisture there. Darker and, and oranges here show some dry air trying to entrain here. But just to the south of us, even more moisture as well coming in. So we're in for a rainy period over the next several days. Don't expect that to go anywhere. Keep that umbrella handy with you as you go about your way. Making strides against breast cancer. Discovery Green this morning. They kick off at 9 o'clock. Registration at 730. Showers are likely to be around by the time you finish. If you're going to be finishing at noon probably be done a lot long, a lot sooner than that. But here's what's going on. Start times at 9 o'clock. Chance of showers out there, but not very much of a chance. This morning is the best time to get out and do anything you want to do outdoors. Rain chances really go up as we get in the mid-mornings. All of the models are kind of in agreement uh, in that they disagree. Uh, but we can expect the highest rain chances will be this afternoon into the evening hours. Looking at the next 10 day forecast here, rain sticking around throughout the period of time here. These rain chances 40 to 50 to 60 percent chance going through the next several days. Astros in the middle of a 10 game home stand going on. So lots going on there. Notice by Wednesday we dry out and we stay dry all the way through Memorial Weekend. Enjoy.